Hello everyone, welcome back to the Black- or no, whoa! Welcome back to, uh, Walking Dead. Lost myself for a second, and we're gonna go, uh, looking for... the motor? I guess that sounds right. I don't actually know where I'm going. Oh, there she is, so we need to be with her. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? I'm coming. Shut up. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Probably on the roof, considering that she likes to be a pie. Use your brain, dude. Molly, you out here? Well, I don't know if I trust her. Guess I'm not going that way. Do we need to go this way? Or this way? Okay, obviously it must be this way. Alright. Just, uh... Hmm. Damn. Yep. That's gonna have to be the way. Okay, the question is how are we going to get back, because that's a barbed wire, in case you didn't notice. Damn, it's jammed tight. Okay, <gasps> zombies. Better not get too close. Mm-hmm. Okay. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Oh, oh, okay, there's some there's some anger. Molly? Molly! Yeah. What? There's some anger there. Some uh I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. All right. Ugh. Something, uh, something happened there, but he's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe. Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Okay. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, lovely. You are a gem. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Made a lot of noise. Going ham on him. Right. Great! Alright, well, thank you for... that. They are very strong for dead people. I'm just putting that out there. Uh oh. I guess Molly's probably gonna be. Maybe she ends up being the one. Take a look around. Take it I'll out. Make sure no stragglers get under the store. All right.
Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Mm hmm. Perfect. You <laughs> can't reach it up there. Obviously, I was hoping you could just lower it yourself, but obviously not. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. All right, let's just open this door. Nope, that's locked. It's locked. No way in. Great, so this sucks. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Oh boy. All right, well. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda. <laughs> That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, cool. can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. She's gonna end up being dead because of that. Just saying. Just have a feeling. For whatever reason, Ben's still living and he's a useless piece of turd. Feel. I did it. Or I guess not. Whoa, whoa! whoa. That's probably not good. No shit! Great! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. If that's what you call this... Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off! Alright. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Come on! I don't need to look at it! Move your ass! Go, please. Great, this is great. This is... Great, now what? So good. Skylight. It's shut. Shoot it out! Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Oh boy. Lovely. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. That would be Kenny who never stops complaining. Oh boy. I don't think we're gonna be able to make that. Come on, what are you chicken? Yes. Jump! What did you call me? Oh, please. Well, now that you mention it. Oh, uh, can we? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, he broke his legs. He didn't die. Okay, so. He'd pretty much be we... dead at that point, Do but. You ever stop complaining? Come on. All right. Whoops. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. There we go. Alright, we got it. Yay, we made it. Cool. We did a good job. We both survived. I'd say that's a win. That booty. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Give us the battery first. Catch you later. Uh, whoa, Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Oh, bless. What is this? 
Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Little help! Little help here! Each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Yes. Use a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Got it. You would think they just get bored after a while, but they never do. You're back. Yep. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Hmm. <laughs> Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. Yeah. She better be. All right. Let's talk to Clem. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Mm -hmm. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. I don't. But good for you. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Aww. Will there be homework? No homework. <laughs> Aw. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope so. I hope she's okay. Mm -hmm. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Nope. Just like the way they were before? No. I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. I don't really want to talk to Ben, but I will, I guess. Pass some time. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't Not she? Not a whole lot I can do. <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Shut up. God, he is such no, a No, little... wait. Mm. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Oh, boy. Go ahead, I don't fucking care. I agree. Care. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it. Then anymore. tell him. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now God. he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. Yeah, he'd probably you kill tell you. Him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. Not yet. Yeah, he'll probably kill you. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. God, I hate him. He's gonna end up killing you, I'm just saying. Bree? 
Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Mm -hmm. Even though you tried to kill me. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. I don't blame you. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Mm -hmm. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Yep. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. I feel you. Damn, girl, that's cold. No. It's how I feel. I agree. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Wow. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Mm -hmm. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out. Yep. Huh? How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? Yeah. With a place like Crawford. I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. Cool. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.